The following exercise is about figuring out which is the false story and which is the true story that the partner, here the case Lixi, will share with us. So I will ask Lixi to take out two minutes and think about one story that is fake, that not fake, that is false, and one story that is true. When you think about these stories, take into consideration, for example, for the false story, to take a story that is real, but just insert some elements that will make it false, so you will be credible in front of the audience. When you are trying to, um, not when you are trying, when you are sharing the true story, try to choose something that seems to be false, so you will leave the audience um, in some kind of misunderstanding. The goal of this game, for the one that is thinking, that is sharing the false and the true stories, is to try and um, mislead the audience. So to try and manage her emotions, because we are uh, referring now to Lixi, she's trying to manage her emotions and try to mislead you, to misguide you, to think that the true story is the false one and the false one is the true story. And for the audience, the important thing is to observe and uh, look to little, little clues that Lixi is giving, showing, by non-verbal communication that might lead you to believe that one story is the false one and the other one is the real one. So, uh, we're not trying here uh, to make, to teach people how to lie to each other, but uh, more how to pay attention to the others, not to be misled by them. So this is the goal of this game. Uh, and we will now uh, let Lisi speak, because okay. she has a uh, chance, chance to think. think. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, so uh, the first one, uh, when I was li a little kid, I crushed my head, because I was a naughty kid, and they put a little piece uh, of iron or metal something here and I have every time I, I go to the airport I have to say the story when I was a kid I crushed my head and I had some iron piece in my head so they don't freak out when they are seeing me and I don't do uh, they um, for not beeping in the airport and the second one I have two cats at home uh, and one of the cats, uh, uh, he thinks he's a dog. And I don't say he's barking, but something like that. He, he always, yeah, I want to play, I want to play, let's go, let's go, let's go. He has a um, uh, very high level of um, energy. Yes. So, which one? Is okay. the truth? Which one is the false? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. I think that the first one is a little bit false. Okay. And I think the second one is true because I know that you have two cats. Yes. Yes, but the first one, not a little bit false, completely false. <laughs> I have nothing in my head. But, I don't. But, um, even though she used a false story, I think that we all um, can, um, I mean, heard of people that had injuries, bad injuries, and had surgeries in which they had uh, metal or iron uh, things stuck, um, inserted in their bodies. So uh, she used true elements, let's say, elements that exist in reality and adapt, ad adapted them and um, combined them in a story that is false. But she used elements that might be true. Because for example, I have a friend that has this issue, but she, she, she didn't have an, uh, an injury at her head. 
she had an injury of her knee and uh, well uh, she had an iron thing there and uh, people didn't understand why uh, it was beeping, the, the machine was beeping while she was passing through the um, x-ray. Yeah. Okay, so this is the game. Keep in mind it's not about learning or teaching people how to lie to the others but finding ways to manage our emotions, trying to find arguments, to build credible stories and credible speeches for the audiences that we address to, and very important, ask the audience how to read the people that we are listening to reading their body language, the non-verbal communication elements, cues that are really important and that sometimes we uh, forget about them. But they really do exist in our um, daily communication processes. So, thank you. Thank you, Andrea.